Hello, Commanders, and welcome to another episode of Clan Raid. We have SR11 Jormag. Just kidding! Apparently, Traplight thought it would be clever to have Wicker Colossus twice in a row, this time with melee resist. So, uh, we are going to show you what we've got going on with that. Uh, no Jormag this time, only Wicker. But first, if you would please uh, like, subscribe, and if you want notifications when I drop new videos, hit that notification bell. Also, please leave comments below. We have a couple of things to cover real quick. The Spear of Cataclysm. You will notice, to my chagrin, that I have one shard to go before I hit level 3 on this bad boy. I am so close. However, most people will have level 1 or level 2 by this time, so this will be more pertinent for everyone. But uh, next time around, fingers crossed, I'll have Spear level 3. Uh, so at present time, it does 12.5% of max health as damage. So you'll notice in the videos, this will be uh, among the first videos that we run here, it, up in this top right corner, you see that streak of light there. That is about to hit all nine of those minions. So once it does, boom, you'll notice that the damage goes up just under 600,000. It's uh, like 590,000. So just for easy calculation, I rounded it up to 600,000. That divided by the nine units that it hits equals about 66,666 damage per unit. Slightly less than that because it was 590, but I just wanted to share that with you just so you could see what a full-on hit to the full clump of minions would do. So let me show you what we're working with today. We have three different builds that I've done. Uh, there was a lot of chat on the Battle Legion Discord server about how melee builds were still doing just as much as the range builds. So I wanted to show you that as a potential, potentially viable option. We also have our full range build, where we took all the hammer throwers, all the archers, and we uh, put them up against it. We did Primal Warhorn just because that seems to be the thing that gives the best buff. You don't get any buff from Banner, uh, just range increase, that's all, which doesn't seem to help much. So there's that one, and then we also have our Crystal Spire build inspired by our video from last night in Ranked Play with Mathramar where I nuked the crap out of a bunch of Untamed Beasts and Eternal Champions. So um, th there are some variations on this, but uh, we'll discuss some key elements of these ones real fast. Uh, what, what I've dis discovered is that range is essential on this, and I'll show you real fast why that is so. Um, I went, uh, we've just got range one on all of these, and then a few damage, and the executes are left over from last night, but I didn't want to switch them out. Uh, I just hate losing power stones. I, I just never have enough of them, it seems. Uh, then we've got our frost wizards with range one on each, and nothing else is particularly relevant there. The key elements to this particular build is the toe, which buffs everything, since I have less than 11 units, it buffs everything by 70%. So all eight of those crystal spires are going to be cranking. Um, whether or not it compares to the other two builds, that's uh, I leave that for you to decide. I, I try to count the damage as it goes, just by counting the increments of 10,000 as it ticks, just to see which one happens fastest. Uh, I'll let you decide how that goes. Anyway, uh, there's Toe for 70%. Ooh, somebody apparently has a video. Exciting. Okay, we'll watch that later. Uh, but yeah, you do not want to stack any more units on this because otherwise you lose the buff from the toe. Then you also have your ring, which I have to level 10 at rank 1, and every for the first 6 seconds and then um, later on into the round at uh, 20 seconds, again, it'll start again, you get a 60% buff to all of your construct units. Um, the Frost Wizard isn't really going to add much damage, so we won't even worry about that. So that's the gist of this one, and then of course Spear of Cataclysm, we're using that on all three builds. I know it kind of takes the science out of everything, you can't really compare these one next to the other. You can still do it just by, again, counting the DPS as it ticks. But uh, I, I'm using Spear just because I need to get those hearts, I, I need to support my clan, we've got to get the boss down, so uh, we're using Spear just to make sure we get there. Alright, so we've looked at that one, let's show you this one. We, again, always short on power stones. I just can't justify spending any gems on stuff that disappears. Uh, I'd rather spend my gems on gold to upgrade my units and my artifacts. But uh, we have uh, aim two 
on every single one of the hammer throwers and every single one of the archers. And we don't have any damages left. Uh, we, we have one left, but I'm saving that just in case I need it for the next boss. So I just figured it wasn't worth squandering that on a single archer. Okay, and uh, so this one, very straightforward. No, no rocket science here. We're using, excuse me, we're using Primal Warhorn, Ring, and Spear. So again, with that ring, you're going to be looking, uh, let's see, every five seconds, and order is the third in line. So at the 10 second mark is when you're going to see the order damage amp up. So be on the lookout for that. And with the Primal Warhorn, we are getting, I think, about a 50% buff, something like that, to our units. So not, not a whole heck of a lot. It, uh, it doesn't add up to very much, especially when you compare it to our other swarm build where there are a lot more units. So this one is the same as the last few videos I've done for uh, or ranged resist wicker. Uh, nothing terribly fancy here. Again, that ring is kind of new on the scene, but we've already discussed that. So we'll go ahead and show you how we did. Let's have a look. Okay, so this was just my test just to see if the Crystal Spires could reach. The answer is yes and no. They, they can reach the first one on the bottom, and most of the Spires can reach the first three units on the top, but it's just not worth it. You, you just cannot um, get the, the range that you need. And I don't think it's worth switching out for the... Oh, there was that uh, Spear of Cataclysm hit that I showed you from earlier, just to give you some context for where I got that. Um, so yeah, it's just not, uh, I, you, having aim on them, you won't hit enough to make it worth it. So then I added range to it. This was my other test. I didn't use any elixirs on either of these. I just wanted to see if they would reach and every single one will reach three different units. So you're getting full capacity with range one. Uh, we don't need to watch the rest of this one. That's just to show you that the range one is sufficient. And then here is with elixirs. So we've added the elixirs. Now, again, focus right at the very beginning. You're getting a lot of damage from that ring, so it's going very fast. And you just watch it tick. It's going very fast. Now it starts to slow. Okay. So you can see the difference. Now at 20 seconds, it's going to start cranking again. So here we go. Three, two, one, and there we go. Now you see it pick up on the DPS for that ring. And again, factor in the Spear of Cataclysm hits, but uh, I, I couldn't afford to not have it included because I need to get as much damage as I can. I, I've got to make sure I get my hearts. Uh, clan comes first. Sorry, guys. I, I know you want to feel special, but my clan is number one. Uh, number one to me. Okay, so that was the Crystal Spire build with all three. Now we'll show you the Archer Hammer Thrower. And here we go. So now remember, the ring hits at 10 seconds for these guys. So it'll be 30, and then when there's 10 seconds left, it should go again. Okay, here we go. Now you see it pick up. Going real fast. And then it's going to slow down again right here. Because it lasts for 6 seconds. So that's something that we discovered with the ring, is that um, the rotation increment doesn't change. It's every five seconds it'll switch. However, it will overlap into the next faction because as you upgrade the ring, you get an extra second of buff per faction. So for the first second into the next faction, you have uh, you still have that buff on the previous faction. Okay, so we've covered everything except for the melee swarm. The, uh, was that everything? Okay, oh yeah, and then there's a the special video just for you guys. So... Melee Swarm. Let's see how we do with that. Now again, pay attention to the Nature and Chaos, which is 5 and 15 seconds in. So here goes Nature. Nature's screaming along. Nature over. Okay, now it would be order, but we don't really have much order. And then we're now into Chaos. So Chaos starts to pick up a little bit of pace, but I only have the uh, what, 5... So five, no, it's six. I have six wraiths. So I got some lucky spear hits on this one, but again, you're not concerned about the total damage. You're concerned about the pacing because sometimes you'll get spear, sometimes you won't. Oh, see, there's a good spear hit. 
but again, just pay attention. I counted the increments at 10,000. So, you know, 9, 10, 11, 12. It, it goes pretty decent. Sorry, I hit my, during the recording, I ended up hitting my button on the phone. Okay, so there you go. Uh, it shows you that uh, each of those builds can crank some serious DPS. If you guys have some of those units, that may work for you. Uh, if, if you don't have a bunch of melee units, then try the Spires or the Hammer Throwers and Archers. The, the Hammer Thrower and Archer one, I think, did uh, performed the least out of all of those. Um, so, again, it's up to you. Uh, another caution is that with the um, with the Crystal Spire build, if you're using the Toe, do not go over 10 units or you've negated the entire impact of the Toe. So I wanted to show you that I did, in fact, get a one-shot on this guy. This is today on Wicker Colossus. I got a one-shot. Oh, yeah. This is my secondary profile. It's uh, I've created a clan a couple weeks ago called The Command Table to go along with my YouTube channel. Uh, it, it's, it's not super serious. We are determined. We're going to have a lot of fun. But uh, we have five spots open at the filming of this video, and as time goes on, I'm sure we'll have spots here and there. If any of you have a secondary profile, or if your main profile is kind of in that range, feel free to join up with us. We're having a blast. Uh, right now we have uh, three endgame raiders that have their secondary profiles in there, and then a bunch of other uh, folks that are doing really well. Uh, we have 100% success rate on all of our bosses, and we're just having a lot of fun. It's a good crew. So thank you for watching. I appreciate all the support that you guys give me. Please do like, subscribe, and we'll have more videos coming up for you soon. I really hope this all helps you. We'll see. See you soon.